have a parcel. Okay, okay. Okay, so it is. It's get stamped. So I ordered a custom stamp. I've been wanting one for ages, but the price was out of my range um, until I got a little bit of money in. And I was like, okay, right, I'm going to get it because I just really want one. And I think it's going to add an extra touch. So I love everything about this parcel because it's recyclable. I did get a black ink pad. I didn't get a coloured one only because, I mean, it's going to go on coloured tissue paper anyway and like the box itself. And I just want it to be as visible as possible. So I feel like black is going to be the most visible, especially if the interior of the box is white, which is on some of them. Um, but I'm just kind of wanting to upgrade my packaging game. <laughs> I will admit though, I mean, I think it cost me £26 for this and then I paid an extra £5.50 for the ink pad. And... I will say that it is very good quality like this is pure wood like it's not hollow or anything and um, so it's definitely not gonna break and then like the chances of this rubber bit falling off is minimal um, and obviously the wording is back to front because when you stamp it it needs to be back to front so that when it gets stamped it's the right way around This is how big the tissue paper is. Oh my goodness. I definitely have enough to last me a while. Normally I'd use about half a sheet. Like, so like this kind of size, but then cut in half. <laughs> so, this was a good purchase. And then I thought for Christmas, although I think I might have some leftover. I only got 50 sheets of the snowflake one. It's so pretty. But I thought it'd be really nice to use for orders up until Christmas. And even a couple past Christmas. But I only got 50 because it's going to be Christmas very soon. And I don't plan on having more than about 40 orders anyway. But also with sheets this size. <laughs> I am... Um, Definitely going to have more than enough. I saw this printer ages ago when I was looking for thermal label printers. And I really wanted one. Um, but they didn't have it in pink. So I thought I'd get one in the meantime. And when they finally had it in pink, I would get it. And they finally had it in pink. So <laughs> I'm hoping it works with Royal Mail Click and Drop. And I'm hoping it works with my laptop because I've had problems with other printers before um, so that's why I haven't sold my Zing printer yet because I want to make sure that it's a good printer for me um, so that is helpful I really hope this works because honestly I only got it because it was pink and I have like a white and pink theme going on. It's not as pink as I thought but it's still pastel pink but it's more like, well on the camera it looks peachy. I was looking through the phone um, but it is actually, if I actually look at the product, it is a pink. So on the camera it looks more peachy than it actually is um, so I apologise for that. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty much a similar layout to my Zing printer. Now, if you have like the same, I don't know, if you use click and drop, 4x6 labels, um, you're in the UK, then I do recommend the Zing printer. It is a really good Zing printer. <laughs> um, but I, I just really wanted a pink one to go with my theme. 
and hopefully this can do the other labels as well because for some reason it's not working and now I don't know if that's because of the zinc printer or the laptop but I will let you guys know so I'm gonna set it up and give it a try okay so I'm setting it up so these are the labels that I really want to create um custom like thank you stickers and stuff on but i haven't been able to do it with the zing printer so i'm hoping i can do it on the my bunny which i'm gonna call it okay so literally five seconds later after pausing i realized that i had to click on the down arrow and there was a bit here that i could have clicked on to make it come up and that's why it wasn't coming up because i had to make it come up <laughs> so it's now finished which is really quick so it's definitely my mistake okay okay i have no idea what all of this is okay so it was really easy to download all the stuff now i'm gonna see if it will print out my first shipping label i'm gonna do it from this angle so you guys can't see the address on there but hopefully you just check all the print settings okay right i think i think it's ready to go oh that was quick oh my gosh okay look at that quality i'm not gonna lie guys that's a much better clearer image than my zing printer now i'm not sure if that's because my zing printer needs a bit of a clean but look how clear that is okay but now for the real test so one i want to test if it will print out my picture on these and two i want to test if it will still print on cheaper thermal label printer or if i have to buy my bunny printer thermal label labels <laughs> okay so this is a little annoying so when you put the paper in, you have to hold down the button for it to check the sizing and stuff. On the Zing printer, it automatically does it, but you can press the button to have it um, do it just in case it did it wrong. Um, but also it spits out a lot and it won't print on these three either. But I also can't put them back in because well it will just spit them all out and then say it's got no paper in because it spits out about three and that really annoys me because well I can't use these um, and I did try and do it with just one bit seeing if it would um, before I did the three I thought okay see if I can use this bit and it just spelled it out straight away so it <sighs> It's hard to say whether it's going to end up making me waste money. But I don't know if I can sneakily make a way to tape all the extras together from the underneath. And then it print them as if it's still a roll kind of thing. I don't know if I'd get away with that or not. <clears throat> but anyway, let's test if it will print on the cheaper version of thermal paper. Okay. It prints very well. It is a little bit more blurred on this paper, but I'm going to assume that's the paper, not the printer. So, but I don't feel like I need perfect paper for uh, postage labels because well they get messed around anyway but as long as it's readable to begin with it's absolutely fine so now let's test out see if it will do the sticker labels this is very important because this is another big reason why I got this printer okay so I just placed in the new labels and I really hope this works so I made the design super simple the color doesn't matter because it's thermal um, and I <laughs> my original design was super complex because I didn't think about how small it actually was but I'm downloading oh I'm really hoping it will work 
Okay, so here's what it looks like. Now, I, I don't actually know if I have to change the actual settings um, of the printer file itself on here. Um, okay, so I want it landscape. See, the size, this is not the size that I'm going to be having it. I think it's approximately this one. I could be wrong. I have, I know the size is supposed to be, I think, 2.25 inches by 1.5 inches, but I have no idea what that is in, like, millimeters, centimeters, and normally I would ask Alexa, but I turned her off! Okay, so I googled it, and basically it's none of them. <sighs> it's really annoying, even though it looked like it fit the one up here. That would have been way too big so i'm gonna give this one a try even though it's technically not the right size i'm just i'm gonna give it a go but i didn't actually press the button for it to read the labels Once again, it spat out half my label. Oh, it spat out another one. Okay, that really annoys me. So I'm gonna try printing it now to see if it has changed the options. Oh, oh look, it's there, it's there, it's there. Ah, oh, I didn't scan it, that's probably why. Okay, that's the right size. Okay, are you ready? Oh, why does it look different on the screen? Do I need to make it portrait? Um, okay, so I'm gonna try printing it portrait and then I'll try printing it landscape if it doesn't work. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I have my own labels. <gasps> it worked! It actually worked! Look how cute that is. I'm going to print off a huge ton and then I have some labels to stick on my star oh they're so cute and it's a small canvas but i can still design a few different types so like i can do fragile stickers because i also have the same size but with like red borders so fragile stickers will be cute although my post person told me that the fragile stickers actually don't mean shite basically so i don't know if it'll be a waste but i also can you see back here i have some of these label printers now these are a different size to the four by six but bigger than this one um all of my labels are well the small ones i got off of amazon and then the bigger ones i got off of ebay um but i'm gonna use the biggish slash medium ones for when i print out um order receipts from my website because it's not connected to my raw mail click and drop just yet hopefully they add that in at some point but i like to be able to print out the receipt so i can see what people have ordered so that i can put it down and then put what people have ordered on it i hope that makes sense but let's uh Let's print some more of these because that was amazing. I can just go to Spiral. Awesome, I love you. Well, well, that's a fun scene, I know. Mm. My favourite colour. Mm. Mm. Good on it's like a snake. <laughs> Mummy, does it be? Okay, um, I smell something different, so I don't know if doing a hundred in one go is not making it happy. I hope I haven't burnt anything. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi! You're supposed to be asleep, you. Well, not asleep, in bed. Um, but now I have 100 of these that I can stick on a little roll and then use. Yay! Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just sorting out printing some labels because I have to go to the post office in a moment. <sighs> My head just feels so messy. Like I've got ideas, I've got things that I'm used to, I've got things that I want to do and I'm really struggling to put it in order. I'm going to try doing, just writing it down on notepads and stuff. But it's getting a bit overwhelming. I'm also getting annoyed that people aren't replying to my email after five minutes of sending them. <laughs> I know how silly that is, but I sent an email about the fabric that I got because it's, I mean, it's gorgeous and the quality is amazing. But they didn't send me a proof of what it would look like. So I could explain to them the size that I wanted. <sighs> I mean, it did give me an option at the bottom to say that I, um, to say what I wanted, but I put in there, um, let me know if the pattern isn't repeatable, because I made the pattern so it would look repeatable, um, but I just wanted to make sure that it was right, and I said, contact me if it's not right, um, and then I didn't get any contact, and the print the pattern looks fine it's just it's way too big i can't make toe guards out of them because it's not going to show the design that i need from it if that makes sense so that was a little bit frustrating but i have emailed them um i i was really nice because i mean it could be either of our faults i don't know it did say in their description bit that they would send me a proof um so proof i mean like so basically it would send me an example of what it would look like so i can decide whether i like it or not and decide what i would like to change about it and those are really important when you're doing custom items and they didn't send me a proof they just dispatched my item straight away which at first i thought okay maybe they know exactly what i'm after but the sizing was just and i i don't even know what i could use it for I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what I could make. It's such a huge pattern. I did put in the email that I'm completely happy to return it. Um, so they can, I don't know if they could recycle it or something. Or remove the pattern from the top and just like reprint it kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but they haven't replied. And I know it's only been a couple of hours and I should probably give it a couple of days, but because I know I'm waiting for that reply, I've, I'm really struggling to do something. And I think it's because of ADHD, which, by the way, I'm trying to get diagnosed for. Um, oh, my hair's a mess. I need to brush it. Like, it's so messy at the moment. I've got knots in it everywhere. I just keep forgetting. Once again, ADHD. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really struggling at the moment. And I was so excited to get this pattern that I thought, I mean, it was a little bit pricey, but the amount that you get, it's definitely worth it. So I was quite bummed. And I really want to, I really want to make my own designs. Like, I love supporting other small businesses and buying, like, um, the fabric from them that I loved. But I can only do so much. Um... But I really wanted to add in my my designs. I wanted to make things mine, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I just designed um, a Christmas repeatable pattern, which I think looks absolutely beautiful. And I put um, a poll on Instagram to see what other people think, if they would like it to be as toe guards. Um because it's so pretty but I want I want to make everything my own you know so I just got um some one of the pins that I had purchased for on Kickstarter so yeah I just thought I'd show you guys so I, I have already looked at it because I was confused I was like I haven't ordered anything supposed to be small in quite a while and then I realized that it was a Kickstarter which normally take a couple of months anyway so um I was uh, quite happily surprised. So here is the maker. 
Um, this is a pride pin. Now, normally when I buy pride pins, I go for the transgender pin. I am not transgender. Um, I support the whole community, obviously, but my favorite, like, it's my favorite pin because it's such beautiful colors. Um, but I decided that I would go for just an all-round pride pin. Well, because <laughs> I just, I wanted something more for me, um, even... And the colours, like, rainbow colours are really pretty, so... Um, but it came with, like, a free little holly sticker, which was very cute. And it came with, like, this. Um, it did have a knot with some string on it, which was really cute, so it's kind of like a present. And then you open it up. Look how adorable that is! I think this is such a lovely idea. And the pin itself is absolutely beautiful. It's really pretty. So I'll be adding this pin to my collection. I've I've got a cardboard thing that I did in um not this, it was a different thing that I taped with like washi tapes to make it look better. Um but I definitely want to get a proper display and eventually I want to get like itter bags so I can have them displayed in bags and stuff, which is my main goal. Um, but I also got these once before on a Kickstarter, which are absolutely beautiful. They are by Seven Art. Um, so I, I still, but it's high, the cardboard's high up, so I haven't put them away yet. So they're just kind of sitting out, but um, put them kind of in display while I work and stuff but I, I just wanted to show you guys I think it was absolutely adorable really beautiful packaging and what I like to do so like I will literally reuse everything I can not necessarily the backing cards um, but the tissue I will reuse and I'll even keep this on so um, people can scan it and go have a look at theirs so it's kind of like a promotion kind of thing at the same time um, but it, it's also like free tissue paper, which is great for adding extra packaging that isn't supposed to be like super nice my colours. So like um, when I put my toe guards in the box, sometimes I'll put tissue paper inside the toe guards so they can keep their shape. And I would use like spare tissue paper rather than my colours because I use my colours for the rest of it. <laughs> but another thing, so I got quite a few things in the mail. That's better. So I'm definitely going to reuse this bubble paper. I'm going to be honest guys, I am a bit of a hoarder when it comes to packaging materials. So I will keep that. I won't keep the box because I do like things to look nice. But these are the phone grips. Now I had a problem with the phone grips on Etsy. So I put them up. And then a company called Pop Sockets um, basically got half of them taken down. They didn't take down all of them, which I thought was really weird, um, if anything. But also the ones that they, like, I didn't have Pop Sockets in the name or anywhere on it because these aren't Pop Sockets. And obviously I designed the fronts and the pictures on them. So I emailed them because I was really confused, but they haven't got back to me. So... If they're not up on Etsy, go to my website. They're cheaper on my website anyway, so you might as well just go to my website to order them. Um, and if there are any problems when you're trying to order, do let me know, because I, I, <laughs> I don't get many orders off my website. So I'm always paranoid, like, is it because they can't get to something? So, yeah. But I, I just got really confused. I don't... And then I looked at their thing. So they have like a license page kind of like a thing going on. And they basically own different types of names. So they own Pop Sockets. Um, uh, socket Grips. And, and there was just a whole big list. But Phone Grip wasn't on there. And I just... I don't know what it is. But I had ordered these before I even knew that they were a thing. And like I see so many different sellers selling all sorts of beautiful styles of phone grips. So I didn't know. Oh, I kind of messed up. So 
what I am doing is, if you don't see them on Etsy, I'm not allowed to sell some of them, I apologise. But go to my website anyway, because they are cheaper on my website. Let's um, open these, have a good look at them. Um, oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. And yeah, look how, look how beautiful they are. They are gorgeous. So this bit, you take off the sticker, you stick it onto your phone. And it does twist round, so... This is the Pocahontas one, um, if you can tell. Well, it's not Pocahontas, it's Pocahontas inspired. I do want to mention that, like, all of these are Disney inspired, but there, there's nothing to do with copyrights on here. So as you can see, I use, like, the colours. So on this one, I have a raccoon in the corner, half of a raccoon. And then I have, like, the willow tree kind of going down. And then, like, there's other like on the aerial one that I have like the seashell kind of thing but I'll show you them all in a minute but um yeah these are not like nothing under copyright they're just inspired by Disney and they have like the Disney character colors kind of thing going on but like I was saying yeah I'm gonna sell them on my website but if you didn't know I actually have subscription boxes on my website which I'm starting I think you can get them now uh, but basically, you get exclusive fabric, which will normally be the... So it'll be a theme, so for example, this one's Aurora with her little crown and her pink and then blues and stuff, which is really pretty. Um, yeah, so I have an Aurora themed fabric material using like the same design, same design with some extra little bits on it. And then I will make um, roller skate accessories. These are so these are roller skate accessories boxes, um, and it will come with like the skate accessories using the exclusive uh, Disney inspired fabric that I designed myself. Um, it will come with these limited edition foam grips. It will come with, um, there's some <laughs> in there, they fit perfectly. So I didn't order a huge ton. So there's about nine designs and I ordered ten of each because from ordering in bulk, I have learned that the chances of the stock going is not always at the top. Even if you absolutely love what you've done, sometimes you just haven't found the right crowd. So this is the brave one. As you can see, there's like a bear scratch in it so these will be in the subscription boxes and so will the pins but yeah i don't order loads when i um order them so i only got 10 of each now if these sold really well then i would definitely restock maybe 50 next time but i have learned to start small and then get more stock if necessary but you've got to see how it goes first because I have a lot of stock that I'm actually adding in as freebies in my gifts because I ordered way too much of it and it's not sold. It's the Mulan one. I really like this one. So I did like um, the dragon. Um, a red and yellow dragon. So it's very similar to the one that they have on the show and then all the colours. Which are really pretty. And obviously I did half animals because I don't want to do um, full animals and then that be down as copyright. I mean, obviously you can't claim a red and yellow dragon, but it's it's because of the style of the dragon is very similar. Uh, we also have Tiana. So here is the Tiana one. So I am very careful with these because I understand that it's not fair to steal someone's designs, but I like to... They're inspired by them, so Tiana, the Princess and the Frog. And then it does have, like, the Tiana's place um, here, which I just thought was a really cute touch. And then um, a lily pad, because, you know, it's the Princess and the Frog, so it makes sense. Um, but it's not nothing that's copied. So... There is a big difference between fan art, copied, and inspired. Um, so fan art you can do but you can't sell because it's normally um, the actual characters themselves, for example. Um, this one is Jasmine. So 
jasmine boot and then it has her tiger's tail on it see so this is inspired by so it has like things that are inspired by it but nothing here is um seen on the actual show so it's not copied and then obviously if you copy something you would normally trace it or copy it but put it in your own style and those kind of things that you um shouldn't sell i mean you can try if you want to but the chances are you're gonna get screwed for it oh i already did brave um who else have we got so i am planning on doing like a whole series with it um so i've got uh, these are some of the Disney princesses. Now I'm I'm broadening my range of Disney princesses. So I've done Belle and uh, Tinker Bell, sorry, that I'm doing, which isn't necessarily classed as a Disney princess, but you know, close enough. Um, so this one is Snow White. I really like this one. So I have her little seven dwarfs, but I only have their hats, as you can see. Um, so yeah it's just the hats because obviously i can't draw the whole dwarfs because that would be copying um and that's not what i want to do um i feel like i keep talking about something and then my brain gets distracted um did i do all of them there should be nine so we did aurora I have to separate these anyway. Oh, I haven't showed you Rapunzel. Rapunzel, I kind of struggled on. I kind of half like it, kind of don't like it. So, the lanterns, I have to be careful with. So, like, they have the, the little sun here, which is wavy lines. So... I have to be careful with that because I didn't want to copy their design so what I did was a circle and then I did like kind of fire coming out of it and that's kind of the way they did it but it's not exactly the same and then I did some lanterns that look similar but slightly different and I kind of like it I kept changing it because I did do her little chameleon tail kind of like the jasmine one and then I did do like hair coming down from the top but I felt like that was more I don't know, I just feel like this is a bit nicer, but it's still not 100% what I wanted entirely. Like, I'm kind of umming and ahhing about it, but I also kind of like it, so. I've already had two orders from these, um, which is amazing. And if you are wondering about the prices, so the foam grips are only £7 um, on my website. On Etsy they're £10, but not all of them are on Etsy anymore, which is such a shame. Um, and I don't know if I should take the other ones down or keep them up, I don't know. Um, but on my website they're only £7, which I think is a really good price. Um, and then the cute little pins, that, um, you can order them together, but the pins are only like... <coughs> bless me! <laughs> the pins are only like um, £2.50 I think, or £2 on my website. So you can order them together and get them as a little set. But I will be doing like those subscription boxes for skates specific. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you my new little frame grips and the problem that I've been having. I think I've showed them all to you. I think we did all nine characters. But yeah, I have loads more coming, so... I have like Tinkerbell and then after I've done like the princesses slash just females slash princesses turns into queens um, I'm gonna move on to um, villains but it was just like a really fun series that I'm doing and I wanted to incorporate roller skates into it because my business is roller skate stuff and like my target audience is roller skaters um, but I also love Disney and I wanted to incorporate that into it and I feel like I've done it justice. I hope I've done it justice. <laughs> 